it is another version of this back long cape abaya gown which is trending you can use a ankara to make this as you can see right here actually the original is made with stretchy fabric and in this tutorial i'll be teaching you how to sew this long cape gown using a stretchy fabric but here in the video you can see you can also use ankara to make this so if this is what you want to learn in this class i will encourage you to stay till the end of this tutorial to learn how to sew this long cape trending abaya so any fabric of your choice can do this if you are using ankara that means you have to add some ease so you'll be able to wear this dress comfortably so please stay tuned to the end of this tutorial to learn more come back to sim right fashion academy youtube channel for another interesting tutorial in this class i'll be teaching you how to sew this beautiful simple abaya cape gown as you can see right there on the thumbnail on the video so this um, abaya is really simple and beautiful okay so i'll be teaching you the tips and tricks to achieving this perfectly with your stoning design as well so if this is what you want to learn i'll encourage you to stay till the, to the end of this tutorial to learn so to start off this tutorial you need a stretchy fabric so here you can see i'm using a stretchy fabric actually need um, a stretchy fabric but when we talk about stretchy fabric, it shouldn't be that very light stretchy fabric, okay? So what I have here is a little bit thick, as you can see right here, and it stretches as well. So here I'm making use of three and a half yards. If you want to achieve this abaya full length, you need three and a half yards. So these three and a half yards you are seeing right here, this is it. I've already placed it on fold. Can you see? I placed it on fold like this to the length. So when I place the three and a half yards on fold, I'll be having not less than, i uh, sorry, less than two yards on one side on fold. So this is the folded part. So the folded part, I'm going to also place it on another fold. Why? Because we want to create the neckline, okay? So I'm going to arrange it now and we are going to create the neckline first. Then after creating the neckline, I will show you how to go about the rest of the sewing. Making sure that the full length I have is correct and the back neckline and the front neckline has been cut as well. So I'm making use of 3 inches by 3 inches for front and 3 inches by 2 inches for So to make this um, class very much um, understandable okay in case you did not understand what i did i'm using three and a half yards so this three and a half yards is when you go to the market you measure from here to here and you have three and a half yards normally the length of our stretchy fabric comes comes at 60 inches so this three and a half yards what i just did now was to fold it this way so it's going to serve as the length as you can see so I folded it this way. That is the first thing I did. So when you fold it this way, we are going to fold it again this way. Can you see? So this is the center front area, which I marked my neckline now. I just did it now. My neckline are three inches, three by three for front and two by two for the back. So now I simply went ahead and cut out the back. If you remember, I cut out the back and when I open it up, I made notches on the shoulder and I have to hold it on this part. Okay, this is actually a very simple, a very simple dress and easy to make. So you see the uh, front, I cut it out. So that is exactly what I did now. And here, this line is the center front. This line is the center back. So if you are making normal your normal dress, okay, normal booboo -boo dress, this is it. If it's a flower, a butterfly, you just leave your armhole and stitch. But for this particular dress, we are going to 
this is back okay of this uh, that is what i'm about to do on the dress on my fabric but i just want to illustrate it on paper so it will be easy and this is the front the whole front of this dress so what are we going to do we are working on this front you see the back and this is the front i'll come over to the center front center back now this is what i'm going to do to my fabric but because the fabric is actually very big you might not understand what i'm doing so i have to do that on paper so once you fold it right here center front and center back on paper this is what you are going to have so we are going to work on the center front because the back will have the cape i believe you understand this is the shoulder line this is the shoulder line for the back and for the front so what are we going to do from this shoulder line you are going to take your measurements this is exactly what i'm going to do on my on the dress now so i'm going to take the measurement of 10 inches so whatever from shoulder measure 10 inches and make create your mark then from shoulder measure your waist from shoulder measure your hip circumference so normally if we are making our our normal dress this line will be the chest line this line will be the waist line and this is the hip line and finally this will be the full length of this dress so now i'm going to take the measurement of my bust circumference okay so my bust circumference i'm going to divide it by four so that is what i'll have uh, by two sorry okay so we are dividing it by two because of um, the the front is going to wrap around both the back and the front so you divide by two so the bust i'm working with is 40 divide by two will give me 20 so i'll mark the waist i'm working with is um 38 divide by two will give me 19 i will mark hip i'm working with is 48 divide by two will give me 24 so I'm dividing by two because it's going to wrap around the body. Please take note of that. So this divide by two now is wrapping both back and front. So I'm going to connect this this way. So I will take it all the way down at 24 inches. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. So by the time I sew on this part, the whole of this cape is going to run all the way from here. To this point can you see that so that is what i'm going to do now so by the time i i'm going to stitch directly on this part so let me show you what i'm doing on the fabric now so this is the whole explanation which i made on paper right now so if you look at where i made my notch that is where we have the shoulder so you are going to rule your line on that shoulder line. So once you rule that, that line, that will guide you as to your measurement. So once you have ruled that line, next is to take the measurement from there at 10 inches, just like I demonstrated. So here is my 10 inches. And it's at this 10 inches, I'm going to take the measurement of my waist divide by my bust divide by two so my bust divide by two is 20 so i'll mark 20 because this is actually very um, stretchy then i'm going to mark my waist my waist is 17 so i'll just pull my fabric a little more so when working with stretchy fabric you need to be very very careful can you see so you mark your 10, you mark your waist, which mine is 17. You mark your, your hip. So I'll push it a little bit for my hip. So I've, I've demonstrated it on paper, so definitely you should understand what I'm doing now. So I've taken my bust circumference as 20 and my waist circumference divided by 2. At 19 my hip circumference divided by 2 at 24 so I'm taking 
my hip measurement divided by 2 at 24. So I will mark. So I'm going to connect what I have on this part from that 10 inches to 17 to my hip. So I'll come in with my pattern ruler. I'll go ahead and do this. That is my bust divide by two because it's going to wrap around the dress. I'll place this to the hip, to the hip this way. Then from the hip, I will take it all the way straight to the hem of this dress. So this is exactly what I was explaining. So I will secure them with my pin and then I will go over, I will secure the parts I marked because I'm going to take it straight to the machine the way it is, the way it is right now. I will do what? I will start from here and stitch till I get to the end. I go ahead to stitch, please, please, please. The part I marked is the wrong side of this dress, please. Because when you stitch this wrong side, it's going to be inside of the dress. Please take note, don't do this on the front side. Do it on the wrong side, okay? Because I'm going to stitch right here and then I'll trim off the excess to one inch, okay? Then to the cape. So here are my stitches. And I follow the chalk line to stitch, okay? So I will advise if you are on a fat size, okay? You will just go ahead and add one inch to your bust circumference divide by two. Then connect it straight. Don't give the hip, you know, shape because of your tummy. That's if you're on a fat or plus size. Just go one inch out and connect it straight to the hip, okay? So, I will go ahead and trim off the SS I have here. You can see the SS I have here. I will trim it off at one, one inch. Once I get to this point, I will just curve it like a normal, uh, the way we curve um, our kimonos, okay? So, that's what I'm going to do now. I've cleaned up my, the edges at one, one inch. So, these are my stitches. The part I stitched, I have to reduce the seam at one inch. And I curved it into the cape. Just like we do in um, our normal kimono curve. So now I will turn what I have here. So this is how you are going to place it on the body. This part I stitch is going to be the center back. Okay. So why we have the back, the center front, it will be the center back anyway. Why we have the back flying like this, okay? So now I have the stitching part at the center back and this part will be the center front. So you can see our neckline. This is the neckline which we marked for the front. So I'll go ahead and place my pattern stones so these pattern stones are already uh, made you can get it from the shop from the store from any sewing uh, material shop so i'll go back to my ironing table now so make sure you tape the neckline with your bias. Before you do this, you tape your neckline with your bias. So I just place it the way I want. So I don't have enough of this. So I'm going to cut out and place only two of this to the end of this dress. Then after that, I'll also place on the sleeve. Okay, I'm also going to place at the edges as you see it right there on the video. So this is the center front. So you have to mark out the center front. I've already separated what I have on my stone. Already made pepper stone uh, too. Because I don't have much of this stone. So if you want, like it is right there on the thumbnail, just go ahead and get more stones for yourself. So I'll just place it this way. As you can see. So this stone is, is very easy 
to place because it's already made you don't need a stone board for it so you just go ahead and lay your weight fabric if you don't have a steam iron you do what i do but if you have a steam iron just place a fabric on top of it and So I'll keep placing it till I'm satisfied it has dried up. So once it has dried up, so once you are done with it, you just so I'm done with my stoning right now. So like I earlier said, I don't have enough. So I have to do this from the neckline to where I I have. So it is now my design. So the edges of the fabric i have to stone them that is the cape area the part that is going to be at the back so later i'm going to complete it to the end of the dress i can also take it this way it's all your design then you can also stone the center part as it is but the main tutorial has been done so thank you very much for coming to this tutorial once again if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you once again. See you in the next class. Bye.